Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly tarot reading. I'll be using the Rider Waite deck to see what messages are coming up for you this week. I really appreciate you being here. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers dealing with the Taurian. Um, let's break it down, shall we, and see what's coming up for the week ahead. So if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like. Um, share with your friends uh, and subscribe to the YouTube family. Um, otherwise, let's kick this off. Okay, the words that come to mind are like something about an emotional release uh, between you and your significant other. Um, the High Priestess is reversed, which I feel like in this instance is showing that someone's true colors are, are, are coming out or you're seeing something for what it really is. Um, this is possibly your emotional release here as well. Um, you're either letting go of something here um, or it's like you need, to, you need to release something or someone. Now, Taurus, you've come up as a Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles and the Five so there's some things that haven't been easy for you lately, okay, especially in your recent past. Um, the page to the five to the, you know, you're going through these ups and downs where at times you feel like you have control over things and you feel like it's in your hands. You can feel it. You, you feel like you're making uh, emotional progress, which is good. But then, wow, other times it's just not so good. You feel like... All, all the things you've done are, are becoming undone and you just feel tired. There's a message of like, you just, you're just exhausted of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, Taurus, you can only do so much. I feel like you're taking on a lot in a relationship or you're doing a lot for a relationship. You may not necessarily be getting the same things in return. So I'm wondering if suddenly, very quickly, almost with that magician energy, you might take away your attention, your focus, or everything you've been doing towards a relationship, um, and you're going to start to see those true colors. I'm, I'm getting a sense that if you sort of back away and take a step backwards, you're going to see if, if your person is really going to step up to the plate here. There's obviously a very strong emotional attachment with the Knight of Cups, um, but you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that this person hasn't emotionally pulled their weight They've been wandering this barren landscape. They haven't been pulling their weight. They've either been acting single or been very independent or doing their own thing. Um, and I feel like it's time to see if they can climb that mountain. You might be, this might be like a more of a testing phase, but you know, I wouldn't necessarily want you to test them, Taurus. I just want you to not do as much as you're doing because I don't think it's very fair. Um, and if you're not seeing progress, okay, Six of Swords, something's not progressing where you want it to. I don't know if you need to be the magician energy and you need to do your own thing. I get a sense that this person needs to fear losing you. Eight of Swords is reversed here as well. Six and Eight of Swords, this is your mind. Um... I don't want you to check out completely and like completely detached. That's not that's not the advice that I'm getting in the cards. I'm just getting a sense that um, you need to sort of distance a little bit here because you need to see them step up. And if they don't, that's going to be very telling. You've got them on a bit of a pedestal here, Taurus. So, you know, there's this is respect. This is good. Um, but I wouldn't want that five seven of pentacles and page of pentacles to weigh you down because you know it's it's not fair i feel like pages are like when they get a lot of pressure and a lot of things put on them so they try to run around and make everything happen and i feel this is you in the relationship you're trying to run around make everything happen plan things um go out there you know talk about feelings talk about where you're going talk about the direction you are being very very practical here um but High Priestess in reverse is a divine connection, black and white, divine feminine connection, divine masculine connection that isn't right now where it should be. And look, seeing that in the cards, it makes me feel like there's a reversal here that needs to be addressed. But the only way it may happen, 
Um, oh, that rain sounds amazing. Uh, such a cozy day here today. Um, but look, the only thing that's going to make it happen is if you take a step back. They need to show their emotions. And if they haven't, then they need to. Um, and they will. I feel the Knight of Cups is where he's wears his heart on his sleeve. This is revealing emotion. The High Priestess reversed. But I'm getting a vibe that the only way that they can happen is if you stop making it happen. It needs to happen from their side. So, you know, it, it, it can be a bit of a waiting game. And there's an element of frustration there, you know, because you're like, oh, just tell me what's on your mind. Tell me how they're feeling. But they're not always coming up as you want them to. The magician, what they're saying might be going against how they're really feeling. Okay. Um... Or maybe they've been repeating something here. The infinity symbol, the snake, they're symbols of repetition. Okay, there could be sneaky behavior going on as well. Um, and it's leaving you drained. Be careful. Because if they're, they're on top here and they're in a better position than you, um, it's either you're letting them have too much power, Taurus. Too much power over you. You need to claim back some of that power you need to own back some of that power taurus you're a very very powerful sign you're ruled by venus you are the the lover of the zodiac um and i feel like the magician is aries or gemini energy so i mean aries energy upright um it can be more, it can be demanding. So I don't know if there's a message that you need to be more demanding than you are. Or there's something about a demanding person, a demanding um, personality or someone is demanding more in the connection. Um, I think the advice is for you to be more demanding, to be honest. Set the standards high. Tell it like it is. Be honest. Be upfront. I think that needs to come from you. Um because you've worked, you've worked too hard, too hard for everything with this person to just let it go um, and, and, and continue to be taken for granted, maybe. I don't want to see that happen to you, Taurus. So remember, they need to step up. You need to step back. They need to step up. That, I feel, is going to balance things out, maybe. They need, to, they need to reveal their emotions because if they don't, you're going to continue to be in this reversed energy. You're going to be speculating where they're at what they're thinking, where where do they want to go with this? You know, you need to be upfront and honest here because you have, you have been, you've revealed everything. It, it's now their turn. So what can you do to make that happen? What can you do for them to show up this way? Or what can you do to give them the opportunity to show up for you? I'll leave it at that, Taurus. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Um, and we shall be catching up soon. So take care and bye for now.